He's saving a woman's life. And at the same time, an investigation unfolds into officers' use of deadly force against a possible suspect. Your specialist Garna Mejia heard from two of the Good Samaritans. And Garna, how are they doing tonight? Yeah, good evening, you guys. As you can understand, they're a bit shaken up. They actually tell us they received CPR training just last week. Never thought they'd have to use it. Tonight, their prayers are with the victim's family. When we're working over here, it's constantly going. We hear sirens all the time when we're working over here, every time. Working on a construction crew, Justin Furtis never imagined he'd be the one answering the call for help. Not what I was expecting today, for sure. This morning, Justin pulled into work at a new build site across the street from Pioneer Park. That's when he saw a few co-workers gathering around a woman. Sure enough, she'd been stabbed multiple times, clothes covered in blood, and in a state of shock, for sure. At that time, I didn't know how bad it was. It was, it was bad. Justin rushed to get a first aid kit from his truck. I gave one of the guys gloves. I put on gloves, and then he went back and applied pressure to the lady's arm stop the bleeding. He says the woman also had a stab wound in her stomach. That guy was, he had a big knife. Then Justin says the victim pointed to a man. She pointed out to the guy that was underneath, sitting on the tree, underneath the tree, said that that's the guy who stabbed me. The crew watched as arriving officers approached the man. The police officers telling the guy, you know, drop your weapon. But the man refused. He ran towards the cops with the knife. And then that's when everything Shots were fired. The man died on scene, but the woman was rushed to the hospital. Police credit the workers. I want to thank the courageous construction workers who did not hesitate to provide her aid. I really and truly believe you saved a life today. I just did everything I could to help. But Justin says the credit goes to the woman fighting for her life. Prayers for her, for sure, so she can recover. Now, uh, earlier today, local leaders said they believe the officer's actions were justified. As for the alleged suspect, uh, police have yet to identify him. At last report, we also heard that the victim remains hospitalized. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, great job by those construction work workers doing, uh, doing the job they needed to do and getting there so quickly. Garna, thank you. Still ahead on KSL 5 News at 10, helping Utah's children.